So far, I've only looked at Alpha Zero wins against Stockfish. But what I'd like to do now is take a look at the games where Alpha Zero lost. I'm happy to do that. I've had lots of requests to, to look at the losses, actually. Um, but I was getting around to it anyway, because I think actually it helps us to complete the picture of Alpha Zero, and it's going to show where its weaknesses lie and where its strengths lie. It's going to show us what it's really good at and what it's not so good at. So, in fact, most of the games where Alpha Zero lost, it basically overpressed. And I'm going to show you examples of that in a subsequent video. But first of all, I'd like to show you a really startling game that was played from uh, not the actual starting position with the, the pieces set up as normal, but actually from um, a, an opening position that, well, the two chess machines were given from uh, a position from the Computer Chess Engine Championship. So basically the game starts after move eight. Well, let's go through those opening moves. So Stockfish is white and the opening that they're given is a French defense. And the classical variation, I'm a big fan of the classical with black. And, and now the variation is the Alikin Shatar attack. And this has a very good reputation, um, even now, actually, um, in, in Grandmaster Chess. It's very difficult to quell White's initiative. So we're still not quite yet at the position that uh, the machines were given. Uh, Queen d3 is actually uh, the modern way of playing the position and a very dangerous move. And this is the starting position. And this is theoretical. Queen g4 is, is a normal move. Threatening the g-pawn, so g6. And now here the most common continuation is knight f4. And this has been seen many, many times. And white has dangerous compensation. But Stockfish played knight g5, and this is a little bit unusual, <clears throat> but we, we might be seeing a little bit more of this move. Now here, h6 and h5 have been played before. Obviously, this pawn is threatened. h5 has been seen before, um, but basically, white has a very good chance of getting the pawn back by playing g4 and isolating the pawn here and and white regains the pawn and still has a positional advantage so h6 played by alpha zero remember it doesn't have an opening book it's basically forms its own rules and is playing to those rules now here previously we've seen bishop d3 but stockfish played Castle's queenside looks like a very natural move, and this is apparently a novelty. I can't find any games on my database with this. Knight c6. The problem for black, of course, is that the position is incredibly cramped. And white already has what well, extremely dangerous peace play. Knight b5. This is a shocker. Attacking the C-pawn. I mean, this is such a direct way of playing. And now, this next move. I can imagine that... Well, who knows whether, whether Alpha Zero foresaw this a long time before. But certainly a brilliant calculator like Stockfish is going to see a, a, an odd move like this. Which blocks the bishop. Um, it, it doesn't have any qualms that it looks like an ugly move. This rook move is very, very dangerous. This rook can swing all over the third rank. So first things first, what happens if this knight is pushed away? Well, it doesn't want to retreat, but instead knight f7. And now we're gonna see the justification of moving the, third, the, the rook to the third rank. Rook f3. 
attacks the queen. The queen moves away and we take we take the rook in the corner. Now at the moment it's two knights against a rook. Well, a rook and a pawn, but white's initiative is absolutely fantastic. And what on earth are these pieces doing over here? I mean, this is obviously a fantastic position for white. So a6 doesn't really cut it. But then again, the other moves aren't very good either. h5. And now Stockfish doesn't even bother moving the queen. This is the funny thing. The rook switches to f3. So we better have a look at what happens if pawn takes queen. We can take that, and then we take that. And white ends up, well, we're going to get the queen back. And these pawns on, on the king's side are a total wreck. Uh, and obviously black isn't developing very fast either. Okay, what about defending this pawn with rook f8? Let's try that one now starts to have fun. Queen f4 could be potential to play the knight in here and if a6 we go in here it's got to be taken and now knight h7 I mean what a gun black is in here. Threat knight f6 so that's got to be played. We take here and now a great move to just blast open the files for the heavy pieces and white is obviously winning that position because again black's pieces on the queen side are just completely blocked in. You can see how difficult a position this is. Um, a6 played. Now instead of moving that knight the queen came back to g3. So if pawn takes knight, then we take on f7. Have to give the queen. And we take here. So what's the score? Um, rook and two knights against a queen. But this one is coming into the game very, very quickly. And black's king is in terrible trouble here. So for example, if knight here, then we can play this. Check attacks knights, checks the king, and then g4 is winning a piece. Okay, let's go back. So after queen g3, knight d8 played by alpha 0. It's just horrible. Defending that pawn, the knight came back. So a moment, just a little moment to breathe for alpha 0. Knight d7, bishop d3, things building up nicely. So we're already starting to look at taking on f7, bishop g6. I mean, it's not really very complicated. Basically, white will just blast through with, well, most of his pieces, really. Uh, black simply doesn't have a defense. So knight f8 to bolster g6, but look at those pieces. It's just horrific. Rook h4. Hmm, where's this one going? Could be heading over here just to attack f7. So the rook comes to g8 in order to defend with rook g7. I mean, this is so ugly. And now, unsurprisingly, um, there are going to be ways through. So Stockfish played bishop c4. That's an extraordinary move. But I've seen similar uh, tactics in this opening variation, actually. It is so dangerous for black. Now, what happens if it is taken? Well, then we play d5. So we're just opening things up, basically, um, while black's king can't escape. And let's bear in mind that, that this could happen, too. After this, rook takes c4. Isn't this wonderful? These rooks are performing uh, fantastic duties in this game. I mean, I I think here there are going to be so many ways to win. I dare say we can just we can uh, take on c7, but queen h4. 
And if the king tries to escape here, then there's knight e6 check and discovered here. And otherwise, check. And now we can actually go into an endgame because white's king has to step into this fork and white is the exchange up and really there's no way back for black in that one uh, because that bishop is on and this one is well they're both knights are coming out actually so that's what happens if pawn takes bishop what about bolstering this pawn here because actually bishop takes pawn is potentially a threat so what about c6 again what an ugly move i mean this knight can't even move this one can barely move but actually we come in here It's just incredible, with a couple of options looming, and that one wins the rook on g8. Incredible. Um, so Alpha Zero played queen d7. I mean, this is an, an absolute rout. It really is. Giving up a piece, but we just we want to get in here. And knight h7 played to cover f6. And now rook h5. And that was the final move of the game. So alpha zero, this all-conquering hero, was crushed in 22 moves. Let's just uh, put a few details on the final position. So obviously if that's taken, then we're going in with queen takes rook. That's no good. If poor, if uh, queen takes d4, well, here's a subtle move actually. Queen g4 is really nice. I think if I were black, I'd have um, tested my opponent with this one. But um, well, these machines see everything. Um, and now we're threatening this one, and we're threatening a discovered check to take the queen. And after this, we'll do that one even first check. And there's no way back here. But for example, here, well, we'll just crawl in. Yeah, you can see that's threatened as well as, yeah, this one. That's a nice way to finish, actually. There we go. Beautiful stuff. An utter crush. I think I'm going to leave it there because that's somehow the most attractive checkmate. So how is it? That Alpha Zero can get utterly crushed in 22 moves. Well, I think this is basically down to the opening position that it was presented with. It absolutely does not suit its style. In this position, Black has to defend precisely for a long time, play very passively. It's very difficult for Black to play actively from this position and to break out. And, and I think Alpha Zero must have calculated sufficiently to realize that. But then again, when it started to play passively, it basically probably wasn't calculating as deeply as Stockfish. For Stockfish, which is a classic brute force engine with, uh, these days, a highly developed evaluation function to complement that brute force depth of calculation, this position is ideally suited to that kind of brute force calculation because there are so many tactics. You know, you can actually get to the end of these variations and see a mate or see that you're winning material. And this does not suit Alpha Zero style, but suits, suits Stockfishes. So there you go. I think it's basically down to the opening in this case. But as I said, I would like to show you some games where alpha zero has a more normal position but still succeeds in losing so that'll come later on anyway hope you enjoyed that do check out the rest of the playlist you'll find the link up there where you'll see lots more alpha zero games against stockfish um, if you're not a subscriber click on the subscribe button down there and if you want to support the channel we'd be very grateful one-off donations on the paypal button up there and if you want to check out the rewards you can get for contributing via patreon.com powerplaychess. Then again, you'll find the link up there as well. Thanks for watching.